Today I'm going to do the mega update. We're going to look at Bitcoin, Ethereum, Link, and Cardano. So hit that like button before we get started. Bell notification icon after you've hit the subscribe button. Thank God the scammers are basically gone. I've got a company looking after that in the comment section for the previous several videos. So most of that's cleared up, but still make sure you get here in time to receive your little emoji trophy. I'll put it up here from me, yours truly. All right, guys, so we're looking at those massive four today. A couple of recent videos I've talked about bearish signals on Bitcoin as I have some healthy skepticism as one viewer mentioned. And I, I look at it, the charts in this way because I have levels that I say are bullish and levels that I say are bearish. Generally, you see people just say everything's bullish, everything's bullish, everything's bullish until it's bearish and they'll still say it's bullish. But when you're looking at charts, there are particular levels that you can say to yourself, all right, things are looking a little bit stronger once they reach these points because of X, Y, Z reasons, and things are weaker when they reach these other points. That's the beauty of the charts. We don't need to focus so much on the news or get swept up in our emotions and believe that things are going up, get involved in all the FOMO and et cetera, all that sort of nonsense, right? It's good stuff. We're here. It's a fun time. It's the bull market. It's it's good times, all right? But that's the reason that I talk about the potential bear signals, especially looking at uh, long-term analysis and long-term trends of dumb money and smart money in the markets, which uh, I've got a tweet for as well. So that's a longer intro than I normally do, but I think it's important to explain some of that because, yes, some of my titles may have been a little bit off-putting, but at the end of the day, I trade and invest first title videos come second. I think of something, put it down, you get triggered, not my problem. Bitcoin, first up. Now, we are getting very close to $60,000. Possibly once you've seen this video, we will get there. This is the bar that we are following. This one right here on the 18th of April. Now, if you want some color in your life, let's put some candles on. We've got to spike down into this low. This was the day that we called a dump in Bitcoin after our three days down after a big top and uh, weakening volume. So that video is on the channel, got it out in time. Not gonna get it every time, but a lot of people think it's not possible. It is possible, technical analysis is fantastic. Now this little uh, move up is kind of just increasing in some volume on the Bitfinex chart, but if we look at Binance, it's the other way around. Binance is dropping off in volume. This is the tricky part when the prices are range bound. When they're going up making high lows and higher highs, Nice, easy swings. At the moment, these are my key levels. This bar, uh, according to Wyckoff theory, that's what I'm basing a lot of this on, Wyckoff and GAN, then this shows what we've changed momentum, we've changed uh, the feel and the sentiment of the market. Should we break above this bar here? Because that's that top is at 60,400. Now I'm spending a little bit more time on Bitcoin uh, before I get to Ethereum, Link and ADA, just because this is going to set the tone, set the scene of the market. First signs of weakness, I have at 54,000, which I've talked about many times. There are some swings at these lows here. We had some big push down. Uh, this was just a few days ago, and then we quickly recovered from that point. The level I'm now looking at is around probably 452,000. So I say that because that would be below these two swings. That would be a little bit more dire for Bitcoin. If we happen to trend around this area, that's fine. We just need to find some volume as we break through these levels, at least get into that high so we can get a nice strong push out of the top. Bitcoin dominance has been getting crushed. This is something that is not new to anyone, I hope. This is a nice uh, reason for altcoin season. We've had a lot of alts go crazy over the last couple of months, but of course Bitcoin has done nothing. Essentially buying it in February, in mid-February, you're basically up $1,000 if you bought one whole Bitcoin. So in terms of percentage, next to nothing, only a couple of percent. So really in terms of Bitcoin, it is done nothing. So that is pretty much my view on Bitcoin. I think we may see a break above this 60,000. I would love to see a bit more volume just to give me a bit more confidence in the move. But nonetheless, like I've been talking about for ages, 60,500 is my key level for bullish momentum continuation. Should it break up, reverse, hold these levels again, that's still a bullish continuation, just needs a little more time. Let's look now at our number two play, and that's Ethereum, which is going nuts right now. It's crushing through to new all-time highs, $4,144. I'll mention the two levels which really gave me strong, strong conviction that we are going hard. This bar here, the 23rd of April, the 18th of April, this was, remember this was Bitcoin's dump? 
So you can use this analysis across any chart as well. I, I, I like to repeat that because it's not just market specific, it's any market. You can use it on crypto, you can use it on stocks, you can use it on anything. Now, 18th was a massive day down for Bitcoin, big scare across the market if you remember. 23rd, another big day down, big scare across the market. Then we had another low on the 25th. Look at the difference with Ethereum. Look at the difference. This day, 20, the 18th, day down. The next day that was the scare was the 23rd. It didn't go below it. Even bigger volume, massive volume. Now the 25th, less volume, but it didn't go below those. It was getting higher lows while Bitcoin was making lower lows. This showed me massive sign of strength in Ethereum around that 2000 to $2,200 level. So I was very happy doing a last accumulation zone for my own portfolios at this level. Now we go on the run. Uh, previous to that, we saw a breakout and then a retest. Not too much there. This was the next bar here, the 4th of May. That was a, a push down on massive volume. So I think a lot of people were selling into that $3,500 region and the buyers just kept buying this up really, really hard. And that's why you got big volume and the market did not go down the next day. So Ethereum has shown a lot of support here, a lot of strength, and then again on the way up. That's why we're not getting these sideways accumulation zones on the way. And I think this might be leading into some sort of blow off into that $5,000 level. We're getting closer and that just leads and believes, uh, makes people believe more that we're going to get there. That was our target two times that first range, hit it quite well. So I'm really happy with that. We had a nice little just pullback on that 200%. Beautiful, beautiful Fibonacci's, beautiful GAN analysis. Uh, those guys were legends, all right? So Ethereum, last one we'll look at here is Ethereum BTC. It's just gone strength to strength. I thought maybe we might have a little bit of a hold up around that 5% level, but we have just crushed it and gone all the way to 7%. We're a few strokes off 7%. We zoom out, our next level's at around that 8%. So this is going parabolic now. ETH against BTC, it's going parabolic. After parabolic, what happens? This sort of play happens. All right, so let's be on alert. And the thing I mentioned in the previous videos, uh, looking at a lot of altcoins, there was 52 altcoins I covered, so go and check out those videos. Really, a lot of coins I went through. Uh, the main thing I wanted to look at is the potential of selling. So that's what I want to bring up here, is don't be too afraid to just maybe take some profits. Have it in your plan. Just, we're going up. Ups are good times to feel the profits of the time you have invested in buying these dips, maybe buying these peaks and getting caught out and waiting. It's the time to recoup and fill up your emotional bank, your emotional account. You have your financial account, your money account, then you have your emotional account. If your emotional account's empty, you won't be able to trade. You'll get absolutely destroyed, you'll feel burnt, you wanna leave. So that's the biggest thing with these markets. You gotta look after both accounts. Uh, ETH BTC, fantastic. All right, so the other piece I wanted to look at here was LINK and ADA. Let's look at LINK, because again, LINK's been crushing it. Dollar values are going up. LINK ETH has been sideways, so it's holding its ground while ETH is just crushing the game. And then LINK BTC has just broken out. We got this one really, really well. I was following this on the way down. January came, I said LINK is looking like a good bottom here because uh, Wyckoff theory, GAN's looking good as we break through the tops and we had a small swing bottom out of this low. It wasn't something that sold me 100% and I, I put that in the video, but once we got this break on high volume, I started buying a lot more around that 50,000 Satoshis. Yes, we came all the way back to it, that's fine, but there was another accumulation zone here. Volume dries up, then we get some more volume on the push out and had another reaccumulation. Look at the volume here as we lead into 65,000 Satoshis, then the breakout. So LINK is looking pretty good against Bitcoin value. ETH, it's holding its ground. And the US dollar, we're at all time highs again. So all in all, LINK has been performing reasonably well through this bull market. Hasn't been the biggest gains, but I suspect that will come some point in the future, especially if it's had such a big accumulation zone. It's, it has the, the crowd uh, and the, the army that absolutely love it and they'll continue to, to move this thing when the time's right. Last on our list is something that we've done, again, this is just a big gloating uh, video today, but anyway, 
Um, we did very well getting the previous video on ADA, the crush, the break of 155 into that 160. We're touching some all-time highs again. That was just yesterday at a dollar 89, nearly at that two dollar level. That video I put up as we broke through those highs was possibly the last times for ADA in a dollar. Look, if everyone else is talking about it and the emotion is out there that everyone thinks ADA is going to the moon, hopefully it does, but then you just have to be wary that uh, maybe we hang out in this zone a little bit longer. If you remember back to February and March, everyone thought this thing was going to two and three dollars uh, pretty quickly, but I put a video up, you can see here, go back on the 27th of February, and I was looking at selling some ADA on this day here because the volume just shocked me. I was like, this is really high. We've been slammed back down, huge wicks up, end of a pretty solid run. Maybe we're gonna go sideways for a period of time. I thought we would go lower, so that's where I went wrong with that. We didn't, but we had a long sideways accumulation and other coins were doing quite well in that time. So money was better invested elsewhere for the last two and a half months. Now we're back into ADA. Volume has come in, broken through the high. So just look for these things in other markets as well if you're not trading ADA uh, and just use what you see here. See the volume as it breaks through the previous highs. Let's bring some white back into our lives and we break through these highs. Next highs, accumulation, reaccumulation on top of the one, two, three previous highs. So that's a good sign. Today, we do want to see it push a little bit higher. That's the, the con to this whole trade here. We want to see some more strength to the upside and not too much time spent uh, just trading above the highs. We want to see it start to push on. Ada ETH, also not too good, crushed. <laughs> like we said, Ethereum's also doing pretty well. This time here, everyone thought uh, you know, ADA was just going to absolutely blow Ethereum away. Probably not yet, but we are seeing some volume come in at the moment. So let's hope these lows hold. I'm going to throw another alert down here and then alert just above the 52-ish thousand so that we can see if this is going to be an accumulation zone before we take off again. ADA BTC, strong, looking good, looking good. We were looking at it here when we did that previous video, and this was setting up to be a good move out of uh, the Bitcoin value as well for Cardano to increase its BTC value. So that is a wrap up of those four coins. What can you do with them? Bitcoin, you know what I'm waiting for. It's sideways at the moment. I wanna see a break of the highs for continued bullish on Bitcoin. The overall market I think is gonna be fine provided Bitcoin stays in that range. And if it trends down, that's bullish for the altcoin season. If it drops quickly on Bitcoin, not so bullish. We get sharp moves down on Bitcoin, it scares the entire market. Remember that. We saw that recently on the 18th. The market crashed, everything else crashed. But then, look at Ethereum. It recovered quite well. So that's what I'm looking at for Bitcoin. Ethereum is on the runaway now. It, there's not like a buy signal for me in that market. I showed you where my buy signals were. I use those in other markets. I use momentum. I would like to see the break of resistance levels and I trade momentum. And I also trade on those dumps when I see good lows. So Ethereum's no buy level, but it's just sit back and enjoy the ride. That's 100% up so far from buying at those uh, those buy zones at the lows of 2,050 or so dollars. We looked at Link. Again, there were some good buy zones. I think Link is in earlier stages of this move up. So we've seen some accumulation in the 30 and 40 region, and now we're starting to push slowly into the 50s. Link BTC. It's just broken out, so I think we'll probably get a little bit of a move on. It's going to be slow moving on the way up because there are so many resistance levels on the way up. You've got 100,000, you've got 125,000, you've got 150,000. So I'm expecting it to be slow. If it's not slow, great. I'm not concerned. It's going to go fast, but I'm expecting a slow move up just as we wind our way through. And then our last one is ADA. It's just recently broke out, so I think there's another chance there. So you can see what I'm looking at. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Link, ADA. Some have chances. Some are waiting still. That's what happens in markets. Markets are generally waiting for a good 80% of the time. Look at it in the chart. The move happens for a very short period of time and then you want to wait. You sell out, you sell out, you sell out and then you wait. This is all waiting. Buying here, buying here, buying on the break and then you wait for the ride. The ride is very short. So if you can remember that and you're not too antsy to get your money into the market and just think it's going to do something for you, then that's going to help you out in the long term. That's my look at the big four, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, and Chainlink. I hope you enjoyed that very much, guys. Let me know. Hit the like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. 
bell notification icon. There's plenty of you that haven't subscribed yet or hit that bell notification icon and uh, it does go a long way to helping the channel and then you also get to see the videos uh, as some of these are time sensitive. So that will uh, that will definitely help out. All right, Instagram, you can check me over there. Q and A's daily, so go and join me over there. We just hit 10,000, so thank you very much. Twitter, we just hit 10,000 as well. Lots of news going up over there. I think I'm going to get three or four videos out today, so a ton going on, tons of news, tons of links to use for SwiftX to trade, uh, trade Binance to trade, and Blockfolio to track your portfolios. It all rhymed. Links are down below. I'll see you guys at the next video. Thanks once again. Until then, have more fun to get more done.